Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net. Can you live without your phone? You know, years ago, I would have said yes. And, and by years ago, I, I'm talking like a decade. I mean, my mobile phone back then was, wasn't even smart. Uh, it had a lot of buttons on it, but really couldn't do a whole hell of a lot. These days, however, my smartphones have indeed made me better connected with the world around me. Uh, and I went as far as to say on both Twitter and Facebook uh, just the other day, as a matter of fact, that uh, my iPhone, right here as a matter of fact, is the, uh, the best computer I've ever owned. Now, if I was you know, using an Android device, by default, I'd say the same thing about it because this is always on me. I may not carry my iPad, I may not carry my laptop computer, I definitely don't carry a desktop, and certainly not anything that's bigger than my pockets, you know, around with me everywhere I go. I mean, I have digital cameras, but do I ever take them with me? No, I don't have them on me. I have this, my smartphone. This is, for all intents and purposes, the best computer I've ever had. I've got software on here. I've got experiences. I always have it on me. I'm able to do most of what I need to do wherever I am. And I'm always online. I couldn't even boast that back when I was in high school. This is a computer. This is probably a more powerful computer than what I had access to when I was in high school. Do I need a keyboard for it to be a computer? No. Do I need a mouse for it to be a computer? No. I need a, a screen, you know, that's output, but that screen could also be input, input, output. That's you know, basic, it's basic input, output. It's, it's a computer that I dropped, but that's okay. Cause I've got a case on this computer. So, you know, I don't know if today I could live without my phone. I, I really don't. I, I could, uh, find software to do just about anything I needed to do. I've got software that allows me to remote back in to my computer. That's easy. So I can control my computer remotely. I can control my TV remotely using this computer. Seriously, this is a computer. It's not even a phone. To call it a phone is not fair. Hang on. This is a phone. See? Phone. Computer. Phone. Computer. This, I could absolutely live without. This, I don't think so. So, you know, I think it's time we start redefining what we consider a phone and a computer. This lets me do whatever it is that I generally want or need to do. And uh, if, if you're going to sit there and say, eh, it doesn't play Flash, I think like three people in the world care about that. That's not what I use my computer for. In fact, I try to avoid flash at all costs. Bottom line, I don't think I could live without my phone. And maybe it's just me. Could you guys out there, seriously, could you live without your phone? Do you view your phone the same way? And maybe you don't have a smartphone, in which case you could probably live without your phone. But even then, you know, I remember the first mobile phone that I used, I could probably pull up a photo of it here, give me a second. Um, and I could have, you know, left it at home, but having that with me gave me the ability to call anybody wherever I was, as opposed to when I was in high school uh, and even college. If I wanted to connect with someone, I had to either leave a message on their machine or even back then, like the early 90s, I was lucky if they had email because I'd send them an email and there's still a chance that they may or may not have seen it. Here, give me a second. I'm going to see if I can find, I don't know if it was my, my first uh, mobile phone. If it wasn't my first, because I uploaded a, a copy of this photo to uh, my Facebook account. If it wasn't my first, it was likely my second. So facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Oh, don't make a liar out of me. Give me a second. I'll find it because you guys, it was a monochrome uh, screen. In fact, that was probably giving it too much credit. Here we go. So this uh, 
image was taken on uh, the 31st of December, Friday, 1999. Uh, but this was, that was my first mobile phone there. I couldn't live without that. Yeah, it's ugly. But this was beautiful back in the day. I, I used to love Nokia. Oh, I used to love uh, Nokia devices. Loved them. Um, and, and, uh, and then I didn't. Either way, uh, that's, that was something that, even if it was limited, I still relied on it uh, to stay connected wherever I was, uh, largely by way. I didn't do a lot of texting back then. Didn't really do a lot of texting until the iPhone. Uh, but in terms of calling people, that was a big deal. Just calling people. So uh, I will say, no, I don't think I could easily live without my phone. Could you? I'm also going to go as far as to say this. Maybe an iPhone, but I think it's closer to a computer than it is a phone. Do you do, uh, hang on, let me try it again. Do you agree or disagree?